Today, I want to discuss some common maintenance issues with these Toro Recycler lawnmowers because I have had three variations of these mowers with the Tecumseh engine and all of them have had the same problems. First, let's start off with the most aggravating one. The mower starts, runs for a few seconds, and then dies. Assuming the fuel tank is not empty, the root cause is usually a plugged main jet. This is easily overlooked because it is on the drain bolt of the carb bowl and it is really easy to miss. You can clean the holes out with coke or extremely thin drill bits. That should fix the problem, but if not, you may have to take the entire carb assembly out and do a deeper clean. With all the ethanol fuel mixed in nowadays, it is not unusual to find green gunk all over, especially on these small holes, and there are several of them. While you're in there, check for a cracked primer or purge bulb. The real challenge here is getting the old bulb out cleanly so you can put in a new one. It tends to break off in pieces, so you're going to have to get creative in getting every last bit of it out. If the mower still doesn't start and run, you're going to have to do some more troubleshooting. It could easily go down the rabbit hole from here. It could be a sheer flywheel key, ignition problems, wrong spark plug gap, valve adjustment issues, etc. And all of that's really outside the scope of this video. The second most aggravating scenario is on certain self-propelled models. While you're mowing uphill, it stops self-propelling. This is because the belt slipped off the pulleys it is very tempting to simply pop that same belt back on, but I'm telling you now, you're only buying time because it will pop off again shortly. This happens because the belt is worn, stretched out, and that is the reason why it popped off in the first place. Replacing these belts are simple. You just have to remove the blade, two bolts holding the retaining bracket, and then there's two more bolts holding the cover piece in the front. Simply slide off the old belt and put on the new one. The last common problem is the starter recoil rope snapping. This is easily replaced by removing the plastic engine cover and the entire recoil assembly is held in by two bolts. FYI, if you are used to working on foreign cars and metric fasteners, these bolts are actually SAE, so be careful not to round anything off. And that's it. Of course, there are more common maintenance items such as spark plugs, air filters, but I didn't want to drag this video out any longer than it needed to be. If you want to see a more in-depth video about anything regarding this mower, please leave it down in the comments below. And as always, if you learned something new today, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.